Hello and welcome back to the Veely Podcast. Today we're recording our second um, anime and comic book club meeting. Today we have Tiana, Holden, Angelina, Jaden, Mr. Smith, and we have our guest, Mrs. Vosberg, who she start. Uh, well, do you want to introduce yourself or should I? You can introduce well, Sure. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm one of the uh, teachers of record for virtual. Um, and at the end of last year, um, we ended up starting an anime and comic book club. So just kind of combining those two loves of superheroes and art together into one club. And I think so it's I so cool ask, that you did that. Yeah, go ahead. Also, I wanted to ask, um, how has it been going so far? It's been going pretty good. Um, I feel like sometimes, you know, participation kind of goes up and down just depending on how busy the month is, as everyone knows. Um, but basically each month we will pick a new anime show to watch um, and we'll come up with a few options. People will vote on what they're most interested in watching for the month. Um, and then we'll do the same thing with a comic book. We'll have a few choices. People vote on which one they would like to read. Um, and then we meet up again the next month. And sometimes someone only read the comic book. Sometimes they only watched the show. Sometimes they didn't get to do either, um, but they're still welcome to join and participate in the conversation. Um, and I know with anime shows, a lot of people saw them even like a couple years ago. So they're like, oh, I'll just kind of review it and the hop on now. And um, what, what are you guys watching and are reading this month? So for this month, um, we are reading a comic book. I've never read it before. It's called Naomi. It's a DC comic. Um, so that one's a little more new. That just came out, I think, in the last couple of years. And uh, we actually decided to do Pokemon this month. I think partially because oh. we're getting towards finals and everyone's like, I want to watch something nostalgic that's kind of comforting to watch. So we ended up with Pokemon as our anime of the month. And you guys meet um, once a month on Fridays, am I right? Yes, once a month. Um, it's usually the second Friday of the month. I've been to a couple of meetings, um, but I, I keep on like, I because since it's like once a month, I keep on like, I like I, I plan on going to it, but then something comes up and I can't go. I'm like, oh no. I know but, that um, happens a lot. Um, but I think you're in the um, anime and yeah, the club group, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then I'm like, at least that way we can update the chat for anyone who wasn't able to be there. Um, yeah, that's right. I saw you talking about a couple shows in there recently, too. Oh, yeah. We were talking about Moon Knight. And I know we were yep. talking about this on the Movies and TV Shows podcast, too. Um, Moon Knight. And I think we were talking about Batman, too. Oh, nice. The the new one that just came out? Yeah. Yep, yeah. I, just, I haven't watched it yet. And I, it's like posted online now i'm like it's three hours long okay i gotta pick a good night to settle in and watch it it's worth it it's definitely absolutely worth it um i'm excited moon Knight. Moon oh yeah Fantastic. yeah i was i was catching up on moon Knight yesterday and oh it's getting crazy it's very trippy um definitely a lot of very much like a thriller suspense kind of vibe going there with some twists very different from the previous uh disney plus shows right yes yeah i mean the other ones they've been really good like for transitioning i think from one phase of marvel to the next phase but it's very interesting they've all taken kind of very very different approaches mm -hmm. absolutely oh um so what i was gonna ask oh so because i know has there any be has there been because i know you're more like a comic reader has there been a comic book that you haven't read that you found in because I know you mentioned Naomi so is there like another book that you haven't read but so one that because it's called yeah actually one that I hadn't read um which is a pretty recent one um and also applicable for the Disney plus Marvel shows uh was Miss Marvel so we actually read Miss Marvel just last month that one was so much fun because Miss Marvel is such She's such like a teenage fangirl of Avengers and she loves them so much. Like the comic book is really cute of like, she has a strong personality. She's a really fun character, but there's also kind of a, wait, what just happened? Little thing going on. That one was really fun. When you said Disney Plus, I knew you were gonna say Miss Marvel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I um, also, yeah, the anime comic book club, that introduced me to Miss Marvel too. Um, but it, before we did the, that as a chosen, because I remember you were talking about it recently when we did a, a 
voting, and then you said you wanted to pick Miss Marvel, so I decided to check it out because you said it was good, and I'm like, oh, I really like it, and then we did it, actually, a couple months later. Yeah, that one was actually really fun. Every once in a while, we've read ones. Um, we actually just read a Black Panther one that was a little bit confusing because that one seems like it takes place in a slightly different version of the universe. It's still after like Infinity War, but things are a little different. So we were kind of trying to play catch up and being like, wait, what's going on? Wait, where where are these characters? Where did they, wait, what's? So there's a little bit of that sometimes with the comic books. Oh, have you started on Naomi yet? I haven't started that one yet. Um, so one of, I was like, well, I know one of our students uh, told us that Naomi um, is like one of her favorite comic books and she absolutely loves that one. Um, she was watching the um, show that's been happening. So she was watching the TV show and comparing it to the comic book. So she suggested that one for this month. I know Good because pick. I saw in the Google chat that people, as uh, she was talking about Naomi, yeah, and she was talking about the because I guess like um, see I haven't watched the show yet either, um, but she was saying the show was kind of like not living up to the comic book, but I guess they finally got started to improve and uh, yeah, pick up I the know pace. She said they redeemed themselves like with like the show. Yeah, so I've got to read the comic book now and catch up on the show to see what she was talking about. No, Naomi's an interesting one. Um, Brian Michael Bendis, you know, he did the ultimate Spider-Man, all that, the ultimate universe kind of spawned out of Brian Michael Bendis. And when he left Marvel and went to DC, everybody's like, well, what's he going to do? And he did Naomi. And um, if there's one thing the man can write, um, he can write teenage characters extremely well. So um, I haven't seen the show yet. The comic is really, really good. Um, so I think it's, it's so cool that you're introducing people to, you know, you're choosing students to different works that they might not have ventured into um and then even with the anime one because a lot of people think anime has to be you know um super violent or cheesy or whatnot and i know a lot of people in the meeting right now like he would definitely oppose to that because you can do anything in an anime we were kind of talking about it um on the previous episode about anime about the different like parasite and um you know different ones that they're not the norm they're not dragon ball z you know they're just different things you know i'm a big anime fan so it's so cool that students get to have that opportunity to come learn talk about it and like you said some of they're not all going to you know click with you you know like you said the black panther one was a little confusing and that's okay you're introducing them to different bodies of work um and i mean new black panther movie is just right around the corner so it's always a good thing it is definitely interesting because um, I know with anime club, the anime portion of the club, a lot of times people have like, here are like their like three favorite animes and they're completely different than someone else's. You know, we watch oh, yeah. one month, it'll be like, you know, whatever show we're watching, three people are like, I can't do it. I couldn't get past three episodes. And like three other people are like, it's my favorite anime of all time now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Holden. Cool. Um. I, I feel like with what you were saying with, with people have these like notions of what anime is and these tropes, um, I feel like anime can get a lot more abstract than a lot of other mainstream media because of the fewer restrictions on what studios are allowed to do. So you have you'll have super, super psychologically just dense, dark, confusing shows like Evangelion and uh lane and all these other sorts of like like psychological horror uh and on the other end of the spectrum you have your fun slice of life rom-coms like like just the spectrum of what fits in the anime is so much wider than just naruto (laughs) like i feel like that's just what what uh anime gets just thrown to the side a lot of times because it's just the, the the trope is that it's it, it's it's all basically the Naruto's and the Pokemans, so. Yep, I, I agree. But it's the same thing with comics. You know, everybody gets typecasted as that. Growing up, a comic book fan, uh, you know, you tell somebody you read comics, and like, oh, you read Archie, like no like you know i i grew up the first comics i ever read were amazing spider-man and gi joe special missions um and from there it spawned my love of just the comic medium like you could tell any story in a comic just like an anime um anime has the super super dark ones and the ones like holden mentioned like evangelion um and then you have ones that you know 
you have uh, Studio Ghibli, which can be enjoyed by the whole family. I just put on um, Spirited Away the other day to introduce my wife and my um, stepdaughter to it. Because my favorite so movie of all good. time. <laughs> yeah. I love Spirited Away. I do feel like that one is so, it's so like different and um it, it can take some getting used to to kind of get into that one but i that one's really great you're, you're very right on that <laughs> I, I think when they started like once the pig thing happened and you start seeing like the demons walking around uh my stepdaughter was like what is that I was like, just keep watching keep watching By i know the with the ghibli it, ones you know, i uh i kind of ramped my fiance up to a spirited away we started with like Okay, we're gonna start with like Kiki's delivery service, just kind of get a get a little feel for it. Okay, now we're gonna go to like Howl's Moving Castle and Castle in the Sky and getting a little bit a little bit more out there. And okay, now we can watch Spirited Away. <laughs> Spirited Away was my first Ghibli movie. That was my introduction Same. to it. I oh nice. I I I loved that movie. It's been my favorite since I was like five years old, and it, it's just it, it has such a fleshed out and beautiful world. Like I used to want to go there. <laughs> like it's just it, it it is it is Studio Ghibli's magnum opus. Agreed. Like uh, I don't think anything's Definitely. touched that in my opinion. Um, okay, well we do have people right here right now. I will. I'm, I'm going to ask you about the club and like what has been the most you know well-received book in anime so far but first i want to ask everybody here um what would be your favorite anime and or comic book series that you're reading right now um and this is open to everybody i see Jaden looking at me like but me too you too yep. everybody <laughs> uh probably store or online probably oh yeah that's been probably my favorite so far that's a good but one. um yeah that's that's what I'm gonna go with. I don't know if there's any books about it because I don't read comic books or none of that. So that's okay. No, that's a really good pick. I remember watching those. Those were a lot of fun. Thank you. Who's up next? Yep. Um, does it have to be something that we're watching currently, like our favorite, or just like our favorite anime? Just your favorite anime. Oh, I really like Angels with Death. Okay, it's my favorite anime overall. Like no, I, don't, it's very right. familiar with that one. No, a lot of people haven't seen it or he, heard about it. Like, it's not like a main like anime or things like that. Because I don't like to watch those like main like people like. Because then people think that you only watch anime because you watch Naruto. Like you only watch Naruto. I'm like why? I watch multiple things, and so I avoid Naruto. I don't watch it. My sister, very big fan. I don't. Um, and then a comic book that I am. I'm not reading any currently, but I am really excited to get into Naomi because then um I heard Mr. Smith said that she's a teenage girl and I really like comic books when they're about like teenage girls. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, absolutely. All right, anybody else who wants to go next? So like I said, there's that spectrum. I have a tie for two favorite anime and one of them is Evangelion. And the other one is Chunivio, a rom-com. <laughs> it's there you go. Uh, Evangelion. I've I went on about Evangelion for like five minutes in the original anime podcast. Um, yes, you did. It's <laughs> fantastic masterpiece. So there's so much. There's so many layers to it. It's just the onion. Yeah. Yeah. So it's ways. it's fantastic. And then Tunibio is my comfort food. It is a there you go. show I could just throw on in the background. I've seen it countless times. It's just a fun, cute rom com with a likable cast. It's a, a, a that 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 spectrum very much exists. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. All right, who's up next? Anybody? I'll save myself for last. So, I mean, similar to uh, what Cindy Lou said, I'm really excited to read Naomi. Um, but one of the ones that um, it was actually one of my earlier comic books that I read uh, was Batman: The Long Halloween. Oh yeah. Um, which that's a classic. That one's it's so great going through the whole year. Um, and then favorite anime um well right now i'm i haven't finished it yet but i'm really enjoying demon slayer 
And um, Sailor Moon's like my go-to comfort one is original Sailor Moon. I'm going to keep going back to that, but I've been really enjoying Demon Slayer lately. That's awesome. No, we had somebody on the previous podcast mentioned Demon Slayer and how how awesome it is. Like every second, how awesome it is. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. The animation is beautiful in that one. That's oh, fantastic. also, oh, yeah. I think we read the Batman comic Halloween one on the in the club actually in the anime comic book club, didn't we? There was. I think that there was the was... first one. Well, there was a, a Batman it? one that we read. It was one of the first yeah. ones, um, but it was like a little shorter than the long Halloween. It did have, yeah, I, have like, it, I think it was Halloween short, themed, but it wasn't actually the long Halloween. <laughs> I'd have to look and yeah. see which one it was, but that one had like Scarecrow and uh, Mad Hatter um, and a couple other ones. Yeah, it was like three short stories. Yeah, like three or four short ones. Also, yeah, and also about Sailor Moon. She, uh, that was my first, like, yeah, like, well, that was, like, my first anime I saw. And, like, similar, like, we were saying with how varied the anime can be, where it's, like, and Sailor Moon is, like, joking about, like, just kind of being a teenager half the time and, like, ragging on your friends, and then you've got, like, and then you have Demon Slayer, where you're, someone's possessed and you're trying to save the day. It's very different. Absolutely. Yeah, That's I the got- beauty of it. Yeah, when I got into anime, I watched a lot of like rom com movies, or, like animes, and then now I don't really watch a lot of them. Like I do every once in a while, but now what I watch is very like different, like from each other. Like I watch Angels of Death, which is a thriller like anime, and then that's my favorite one. And then I also have like Fruit Basket, which is a rom com. And then I also have My Hero Academia, which is like I don't, I'm not sure what it, it's like action or something. Kind of action. It's almost like. I don't know. It almost feels like a teen, like TV show, things. but like action, but it's Shonen. anime. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, is, yeah. it feels like an American, co- American superhero turned into an anime, you know, and I think that's yeah. what drew me into it because you're right. You do have that slice of life kind of, you know, teenage life in there, but then you have these like larger than life heroes, you know, especially like the first movie they did for my hero. When you just see that opening scene where all might's fighting some dude in America and you're like, wow, it's like a comic. Like brought to life it looks very so much um my hero is my pick for right now of anime i'm currently watching i am behind on it but not by much um but of all time um it would be between uh full metal alchemist uh and trigun uh full metal, full alchemist, metal is... alchemist or full metal alchemist brotherhood um you know i'm gonna go with the original i'm gonna say full metal alchemist brotherhood is good um but nothing tops just I remember watching it, seeing like the Chimera episode and you're just like, wow. And seeing these brothers just struggling, trying to find their place and trying, you know, to move on without, a, without parents. Um, and then Trigun is just, oh, just Trigun. so cool and crazy and really awesome soundtrack. I haven't um, watched it in so long, like, like eight years old long, but I used to watch it with my uncle. I gotta, I gotta watch that. It, it was, it's so good. And I love the whole, you know, cause he's, Trigun's about this guy. It's just a goofy, blonde-haired guy in a red coat who, for some reason, is wanted for like a massive amount of money. And you're like, well, what did he do? And you found you find out like, well, he supposedly put a hole in the moon. Like, what? Like, he's just this goofy, funny guy. Like, how is he so dangerous? And you, the whole story just goes from there. It's very western tinged. Um, for comic books, I'm going to go with one that's. It's from an indie publisher, but it's one that's going on right now. Um, it's from AWA, and it's called Primos. And Primos is about um, Aztec and Latin culture. So it's this high school kid who finds out that two of his cousins were granted these powers from these Aztec gods uh, to be like defenders. And he ends up being chosen as well. So he gets to, you know, grow up real quick and realize like i got to defend my family i got to fix this i got to do that it's written by the guy who i mean and if if you saw morbius i'm sorry because morbius is an absolutely horrible movie but the the police officer in morbius um he wrote primos um, morbius is the greatest film ever made i'll have you know it has a 200 percent on rotten tomatoes and has yeah, made yeah, over three trillion the at the box office it's it's, it's made um, three trillion at the box office it's amazing 
is pure garbage. Um, but then again, whoever greenlit a Morbius movie has problems to begin with. Um, but the, the gentleman in there, he he wrote Primos. And Primos has been so much fun. Very, um, you know, he writes very youthful. Like he really captures how it is for this kid. Um, and the artwork's just amazing. I try to dive into like different um, different series that maybe you haven't heard of. I have one right here. Let's see if I can get it. This is one of my most recent favorites. Okay, so it's an image comics and it's called Stray Dogs. And the cover is made to look like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, That's so awesome. It's done in the animation style like Disney, but it's like a rated R because of violence. So it's very much a horror book, but um, it's just, it's this amazing series with these, you're following these dogs and you, what happened? Why is this dog end up at this house? Who owns this house? Um, and it's just really, really well done. When it, when it hit the stands last year, it blew up. So um, yeah, Stray Dogs is definitely one to watch because um, they have another series coming out very soon. But I like the weird stuff. So I still read my Marvel and DC when I get a chance, you know, Iron Fist and stuff like that. But it's, I think Marvel hasn't wowed me in a while. Well, and I think that is what's kind of fun about um, just kind of like the genre of anime and comic books is you can go super indie with it. You can go mainstream with it. You can be like, okay, I'm, I'm getting tired of this. Let me try a completely different author. Let me try a completely different story. Absolutely. And each company has been becoming so, you know, varied in what they carry. Um, like I just saw that DC announced they're doing uh, Fables again. Fables was this massive book that took over like the 90s and 2000s. They just announced today they're bringing it back. Which, so I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then you have books like Naomi. Naomi that pulls you in for being you know like the now generation and very more lighthearted superhero you have star girl which again lighthearted superhero-ness um it's a really really cool balance and yeah you can you can read about anything i have a, a graphic novel memoir about andre the giant um and awesome. it's all it's so good it's extremely well done um and it shows his time in the princess bride um in the comic so it was super ah, cindy Lou's like princess bride what yeah. is it called it's a, it, i'll get the title for you but it's a I know. giant comic i'll sh i'll send you the title in the chat uh when i find it but yeah you can tell so much with it um i mean i'm, I'm just a hardcore geek on comics so um the, i'm so happy that we have a club dedicated to this though for our kids you know um what there is no other medium that you can really merge words and imagery and learn and read at the same time. It's one of the only true American art forms that we have that and um, jazz, you know? So uh, I, I just think it's so cool. And I know um, Mr. Thomas is also helping lead this club, correct? Yes. So he does usually um, more the anime side of things since I so. he definitely has more experience with the anime half than I do. When we started, I'd only seen a couple of shows, um, but I hadn't seen that many. But I had way more comic book experience because my friends and I in college were like, OK, let's just start checking out comic books as our like relaxation reading and there just kept reading comic books. Yeah, that's what we started doing. We're like, we need to read something fun that doesn't feel we're just going to read some comic books so that we get that joy of reading something fun, but it's a little more, it's more visually stimulating after uh, reading textbooks all day. <laughs> Agreed. What a, what a cool break, right? Like after studying and whatnot, and then you just crack open a, you know, 32 page comic, which you can get done in like minutes, depending on the comic. Unless it's Brian Michael Bendis, then you're going to be reading for a very long time. Um, so that, that's really cool. Uh, so now I want to ask you about on the club. So I know you said you pick a you pick a comic book and you pick an anime and you have them read it. Um, which comic and anime have been the most well received out of what you've chosen, and why do you think so? I think the most successful comic was either uh, actually we did read Sailor Moon one month, um, that or Miss Marvel, I think were the mo most successful ones. And I think it's with those ones because at the time everyone was like, oh, we had just been talking about it or new things about it had come up like the Sailor Moon Crystal show like re came out. So people were like, oh, I wanna read the book that has to go with it. 
Um, and then anime, which one was the most successful? Hmm. Tiana, do you know which one you think would be the most successful of the anime ones we've done? I'm not too sure. <laughs> but my favorite one would be um, Assassination Classroom. It's, it's, it's about kids and a monster that came um, and tried to destroy the earth, but before he could do that, he had to teach um, students like how to like they were they they were like middle school students where they could just learn how to fight. Now, if that was real, who would come with me? <laughs> I don't know, that sounds uh, pretty dangerous to me. <laughs> I feel this like- sounds very interesting. Not the most successful, but the most liked I've seen is Cowboy Bebop, because not everybody watched it, only a, only a few people watched it, but the people who did watch it really liked it. That's yeah, yeah, that one went over really, really well. Um, I think, yeah, out of the ones we've seen, like that one, well, that one and uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, probably the people who like watched it absolutely loved it, or they were like, oh, I didn't end up getting to watch it this month. <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't. Well, that's end up really cool. <laughs> I mean, and Cowboy Bebop, I mean, to me, that's right up there with like, you know, Trigon. And, yeah, like it's and it's got, you got the, the Western iconic. influence. It's, that's that really jazz fun. backdrop. It was mm -hmm. so all that slick. theme. Not even just jazz, like the, 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 the range of genres in its soundtrack is so good. Yeah. It, it's like, there's jazz, there's blues, there's funk. There's mm -hmm. even, it, it goes to IDM and drill and bass and stuff like that. Like, it's weird how much of a spectrum there is in such a jazz focused show. Yeah, it still all feels very fit. Absolutely. And I heard the, you know, I mean, Netflix had their adaptation that flopped. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, not, did not go over well. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no live action adaptation. <laughs> there you exist. go, right? Just like there's no live action, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender or Dragon Ball. They never no, happened. No, my no, my so, dad. No, I wonder if they'll make one day. My my dad was started watching. He's like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. The live action Cowboy Bebop. He's never seen the original, but for some reason he jumps to live action. No, no, it's not good. It's not good. Stop watching it. Go watch the it original. Turned it off after a few minutes of the first episode. I was like, no. The, then again, the, my dad went and saw Morbius and enjoyed it. So I don't really take any of his opinions to heart anymore. <laughs> Oof, I don't. I'm not sure how anybody can enjoy Morbius. Um, I. I'm a Marvel fan. I love to try to justify anything in a Marvel movie and try to say like, at least it had this, at least it had that. I mean, I'm not even sure Jeremy sometimes... was a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just have a dud like that in Iron Man 3. Um, I mean, dang. But again, why did you greenlight a Morbius movie to begin with? Iron Man Iron Man 3 is a good one. It's oh, Iron Man 2 that's not good. Oh, oh no, no. It... <laughs> it's Thor 2. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Thor one and, the, and two. They're on well, the same mostly level. Mostly two. Me. Mostly two. They're on At the least same Thor level. Thor one, me. it makes sense. <laughs> Thor and uh, I know Holden hated Ragnarok. He had mentioned that earlier. Really? What? No, that was <laughs> absolutely not. I said it was my favorite MCU film. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I gotta head out, guys. <laughs> oh, no worries. But thank well, you thank for you. having me. No, thank you for joining us. Mention, we really appreciate okay. it. I thought your jacket. I mean, this is also your jacket. That's what I was mentioning earlier. Very cool jacket. I'll, I'll, um, I can send you where I got the sweater. I added a few patches to it, but working on my Marvel sweater. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Well, no, I'll go ahead and end it because we just really wanted to get an update from you um, about the club. If anybody has any questions, please contact Ms. Vosberg, um or Mr. Thomas, or you can reach out to the podcast and we'll hook you up with them so that we can get info. All right, Definitely. everybody, we'll see you next time. Subscribe on YouTube, Elite Academic Academy, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.